Today we are going to talk shoulder health, specifically the payoff press progression. Uh, we utilize this movement with runners for core strength and mobility, uh, cervical spine, thoracic spine, the head and neck injuries. Uh, but with the shoulder, there's a lot of options that we have. So we're going to share some of our favorites with you today. Uh, so if you know somebody or yourself has been dealing with a rotator cuff injury, whether a strain sprain or a partial tear, the payoff press is a great option to work you back to health to get you to where you can do the activities you enjoy pressing overhead, running, working out. Uh, but this is one of the most common things we prescribe here in the office for shoulder rehab. And we're gonna share that with you today. Our first variation is going to be our traditional pale off that we use for anti-rotation exercises. This time we're gonna use it for the shoulder. We're gonna bring a band attached uh, about chest height at a wall from the side. We're gonna get into a good athletic position. And from here, we're gonna push straight out. So what we're doing is we're resisting this movement but with the shoulder, we can bring in some good stability through here. Typically, we'll do five straight out, five at about 45 degrees, and then five straight overhead. And then we'll switch sides and do it from the other direction so the focus is more on this shoulder. A good progression for the payoff press is going to be those same movements, but in a half kneeling or a tall kneeling position, dependent on the sport, it brings in a little bit more core stability, a little bit more dynamic uh, stabilizing control is needed for the shoulder. So from here, again, we push straight out, 45 degrees, and then straight overhead. And then switching sides, doing five to 10 reps at each one. And then the same thing here at a half kneeling.